Hi everyone. I quickly want to share with you um, a very nice addition to um, using GitHub. Um, while many of you probably have heard or maybe are experts in using Git, which is a very nice versioning tool um, for many platforms such as Mac OS X or Linux or Windows. And um, it's a very good way of keeping track of a project of that can be files or it can be um, source code, it can be designs. Um, basically, you, you can um, version everything from a thesis to a software project or um, a design template that you're developing. And usually what people do is um, when they have a project, they host it on GitHub, um, which is the main, the main platform for um, hosting um, hosting things that are versioned and controlled by Git. Um, but especially in the beginning, I just had a discussion with a friend. Um, we wanted to collaborate on a project and he was really confused. What is that Git and GitHub? And I don't understand it. And how can I just contribute? Why is it not like Dropbox where I can just put something into it and um, Dropbox does the magic? Well, that's a difference because um, Git and GitHub requires you to do for example, describe what you did, describe your changes, um, give them names, etc. cetera. Um, but there's one simple thing. Let, let's say you just want to change text, which is versioned by Git and hosted on GitHub. Then there's a very, very nice extension for Chrome and Chromium, which is called Prosy. So head on to, to the web store, search for extensions and search for Prosy and um, once you added Prose to um, your browser, let's do that. I just need to activate it again. Um, and you head on to a text file, for example, in my repository that we um, that I'm collaborating on, um, we have a README file um, in Markdown format, MD. And let's say I'm reloading. Watch out what happens now. Zack. Um, I get a new button, which uh, is called Edit in Prose. I click on it. And I'm forwarded to a service, which is actually called proz.io. And it just gives me um, it gives me a text editor in which I can make my changes in a very nice form because it allows me, it gives me some, some basic buttons, you know, some styling formatting buttons um, with daily challenges. Currently, let's add some text. Currently under development and testing. All right, and I can I can go to, so I'm in edit mode. I can go to preview to have a look how it looks like once it's rendered. Um, there's some settings that you could change, but I'm just fine with the default settings. And then you go to changes to save and you, the, the, the green parts highlight what you change. So I added a, a dot here and a completely new line and uh, deletions will be crossed out and um, I think are highlighted in red. So, and, and now it asks me, describe your changes. Okay, I'm describing my changes as, well, this is a nice, actually, pre-definition already, updated readme, but I want to make it more concrete. Edit sentence under development. Now it's really crystal clear what I, what I did. And I click on commit, and changes are committed. And I think, so it's, it tells me saved, and I think, if I go back now, let's, let's test it. I go back to my README and I reload it. Ha! Currently under development and testing. So I did not do the changes neither locally um, nor on GitHub, but I, I used this external editor called Prose, um, which gives me that very nice formatting editor to do my changes. I hope it's now a bit more clear um, for you how how Prose works and and how editing files in on GitHub using Git can be done very easily if you rely on these external tools when it comes to text editing. I'm not talking about any other editing here. All right, that's it. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.